Base Synth's PolyStep Motion Designer takes modulation even further, providing powerful step sequencing of all eight macros, from basic sweeps to incredibly complex polyrhythmic progressions. Turn it on and off with the power button next to the tab header. Each macro has its own lane in the Motion Designer, activated and deactivated using its power button. Bipolar sequences are drawn in by clicking and dragging on each step, and hitting the focus button zooms in on the current lane for easier editing. Clicking the length button below enables independent setting of sequence length for each lane using the spinners on the right for polyrhythmic programming. While the rate button switches the spinners to control of per step note values for each lane. The third button in the bottom row calls up a smooth button on each lane. When activated, these interpolate parameter movement between steps for smoothly flowing rather than discreetly stepped modulation. Needless to say, lighting up the link option causes changes made to any of these parameters in any lane to affect all other lanes too. The dice button in the lane header section randomizes all steps for that sequence. And clicking copy paste puts the sequence on the pasteboard for pasting into any other lane via its equivalent button. The X button clears the sequence, and the Sequencer Presets button to the right of that opens up a selection screen containing 36 pre-designed factory sequences and 36 user sequence slots, the latter filled using the copy and paste function. Audition preset sequences by selecting them. and click the Sequence of Presets button again to dismiss the screen once you've found a sequence you like. With the retrigger function disabled, the motion designer will only restart from step 1 when all notes are released and a new note is played. When the button is active, the sequencer restarts with every overlapping note. The intensity slider governs the global modulation depth. Lower it to reduce the motion designer's overall effect. 